Hi, everyone, again. Uh, happy to see you again in the class. And let's start before we go to the um, lesson. Let's talk about what we did yesterday. Just a quick talk. So I will start. I will talk about what I did yesterday. Um, just to review the past, uh, the past verbs, okay? So yesterday, I woke up at about 7.30. After that, I uh, prayed. Then I had my uh, vitamin C. I usually put it in a cup of water. After that, I drink it. And 20 minutes later, I had my breakfast. After that, um, I had a lesson, a Turkish lesson, because I am studying Turkish right now. And I know that there are some students, uh, Turkish students, they are like uh, watching my lessons. And um, I'd, uh, I'd be happy if, they, if you are contacting me and we talk together in, uh, in Turkish, yes. Uh, but anyway, I had uh, an hour of speaking lesson yesterday morning. After that, um, yeah, I usually um, record this, um, these videos in the morning. Um, after that, I had um, a lesson. I worked, actually. I started working. I finished work at about four in the afternoon. Then I had a nap. A nap when I sleep, when you sleep for 30 minutes in the afternoon or one hour, some people sleep for three, four hours. I don't know, this is a nap, very long nap. Yes, um, after that, I had my lunch. Then I um, read a book. After that, I watched some videos on YouTube about the same book. It's about internet marketing and these things. Yes. I called a friend and uh, another friend visited me in the uh, evening. After that, I had my dinner and I went to bed at around 11, then I uh, checked some emails, Instagram, TikTok, these things before I uh, slept. Then I slept at 11.30. Yes, I sleep, I usually sleep early. And now that was everything about me. Uh, now what about you? Tell me, think. Yeah, you can stop the video, think about what you are going to say, and say it. When you, um, a, good, uh, a good idea will be like you write it first, okay? Or just write the verbs, like woke up, prayed, breakfast, for example, uh, work, mm, visit. After that, make sentences. You see the verb and you make a sentence in your mind, okay? You can write them down on the comments, okay? So after that, uh, you can like speak, um, bring a photo in front of you, a chair, whatever in front of you, put it and talk to this thing, okay? If you don't have anyone to talk to. Okay, guys, so that would be good practice. Every day, make this. Before sleeping, guys, it's very important. Again, <clears throat> before you sleep, um, in the past, we, we always like had a piece of paper and a pen next to the bed. Before I uh, sleep, I just write everything I did all the day. Uh, now you have <clears throat> your mobile, just try it. Uh, make a group with yourself and write all the important things and keep it there. Every day, write everything you did, okay? And 
when you finish, okay, this is an exercise for yourself. Take, like, copy these uh, sentences and uh, paste it on the comment. Then your friend will read, I will read, and I will check if there is any mistake. Okay, guys, that would be a very good idea to do. Uh, anything you think about, any sentence in the bus, just write it in this uh, group that with yourself. And after that, at the end of the day, copy all of them and put them on the comments. Okay, so now let's jump to the lesson. And our lesson today is a very nice lesson. And uh, there are lots of things that we use um, every day. So before, before we uh, go to the lesson, what we are going to do now, we are going to talk about appearance. Uh, appearance, what's appearance? Yeah, I'll tell you in a second what's appearance. Okay, appearance is everything people can see on you, okay? Yeah, I will make it even like better. Let me see. <clears throat> For example, we have, uh, let's see, nouns and adjectives. Mm. Okay, so nouns and ad adjective appearance. Nouns and adjectives. Mm. So here we put the nouns. Okay, here we put the adjective. Okay, so what are uh things that people see or when they talk about you how can they tell people about you for example adjectives we say tall okay or the opposite yes short okay this is one thing i can describe you tell people uh, how you look like okay so this is, we talked about adjectives, okay? You need another one, okay? So yeah, for example, old or young, mm. adjectives, okay? What about nouns? Nouns, nouns, nouns. For example, when we talk about eyes, ah, eyes. So we say, for example, blue eyes, green, yes, I have green eyes. So blue eyes, green eyes, blah, 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 okay. Other things, uh -huh. other things, what? Nouns, people have nouns. Mm. Beard. Okay, beard. Ah, uh, so now what we will do as usual, yes, you will stop the video and take a piece of paper, make two lists of adjectives and nouns when you tell people about someone. Okay, guys. So what we will do now, we will stop the video. What? Yes, you will stop the video. Ah, I can see that you are just say, okay, just like, I just want to know information. No, no, no. In this way, you will not learn English. Stop the video, write the list, okay? Guys, write like four words, four words, five words, five words, not a lot, okay? Then we will move to the lesson, okay, guys? Promise? Let's do it. Okay, now we'll jump to the lesson, to the book. <clears throat> So in this lesson, here we have, mm -hmm. okay, so what's she like? We will uh, explain the meaning of this question later, okay? 
we will study some vocabulary about appearance and character. Appearance, everything out for people. When you see a, a, a photo, you can know the appearance of this person. But character, no. Character is inside people. Okay? So you can't know. If you don't like talk with uh, people for a long time, you cannot understand their character. But appearance, you see a photo, you know. Tall, short, old, young. Okay, blue eyes, beard. Okay? So now, in exercise <clears throat> number two. Hmm. Here we have some adjectives. Young, middle-aged, old, tall, short, thin, slim, fat, overweight, beautiful, good-looking, attractive, white, black, aging, bold. <clears throat> blue eyes, brown eyes, green eyes, long hair, short hair, dark hair, fair hair, blonde hair, gray hair, a beard, a mustache. <clears throat> okay, guys. So <clears throat> we have these words. Um, you can like use your dictionary. Then we'll go to page 149, 10.3. <clears throat> okay. So we say age, height, uh, someone tall or short, body, and appearance, uh, race. Okay, you can check these. Uh, words, race, like is from like from Europe, from Asia, from Africa. The face, where where is, is it from? Okay, and here, if you can see, age, like how old is someone? Young, usually. Um, let's see, young. Uh, 35, uh, 30, yeah, until 35 people young, they say young, okay, like 30, 25, 20, all young, middle-aged, like from 35 to 55, we say middle-aged, old, yeah, from 55 to 100, 200, old, uh, height, tall or short, thin, slim, and fat. Look here, this is the photo of a slim uh, man. Okay, here's slim, here overweight. And we say fat or overweight, but fat is not polite. Okay, F overweight is a, a nicer word. Okay, guys. And thin, like slim is a nice body. Thin more, it's not good, okay? And here appearance, beautiful, uh, good looking. Usually beautiful, we say it for women. But in America, they say beautiful for men and women. Good looking for both men and women, attractive uh, for man and woman, okay? Race here, white, black, Asian. You can say Asian or Asian, no problem. Both of them, correct, okay? Uh, and the most important thing, how we use these words, guys, very important. Look, we say he is, she is, he is, she is. <coughs> Alhamdulillah. Uh, yes, thank you. Okay, so, buddy, he is, she is, he is, she is, he is, she is. So, all of these, okay, guys, about here, about age, height, body, appearance, race, we say he is, we use subject verb to be. Very important, okay? He is young, they are young, she is young, he is tall, they are tall, okay? That's how we use it. Now, eyes and hair, okay? Eyes and hair. 
So we say blue eyes, brown eyes, green eyes. And what do we say here? He has got, she has got. Be careful. You cannot say he is blue eyes, okay? He has got, he's got, she's got, or here the same, she's got, he's got long hair, short hair, okay? And he's got the same, a beard, a mustache, a mustache, uh, a mustache, sorry, okay? So he is bold. So no she here, because uh, only men uh, have beard and mustache, okay? So, and mostly men, uh, men bold. What's bold? Like me. No hair, yes. But now you can see like bold uh, women, yes. So, uh, okay. I guess that's everything here. But be careful about she is, he is, and uh, he's got or she's got, okay? Mm, that's it, everything we talked about here. Mm. Yeah, beautiful is usually for women, good looking is usually for men. So usually, not always, okay? Asian uh, from countries like India, Thailand, Japan, etc., Korea, China. And we say long hair, not long hairs. Hair is uncountable, okay? Uncountable. You cannot say one hair, two hairs, three hairs, okay? When you talk about hair in general. Okay, guys, so <clears throat> repeat after me, please. Yes, repeat. <clears throat> young, young, middle-aged, middle-aged, old, old, tall, tall, short, short, thin, thin, Slim, slim, fat, fat, overweight, overweight, beautiful, beautiful, good looking, good looking, attractive, attractive. If you remember, guys, I said if you have like T R together, I said ch. Atra, 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 ach, atra, attractive, attractive, white, black, Asian, 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 the same, bold, be careful, A L O, bold. Blue eyes, brown eyes, green eyes, long hair, short hair, dark hair, fair hair, blonde hair, gray hair, okay? Um, gray, there is no gray hair, but when a man or a woman has uh, black and white, hair so together you can see gray okay a beard a beard be careful we have this word beard bread okay beard bread be careful a mustache, only this, okay? Only this, mustache. Some people like uh, have beard, but no mustache. Some people have mustache, no beard. Some people have both of them, okay? 
So let me show you a photo. We'll talk about. It. Okay, guys. So <clears throat> do you know these people here? Yeah, this is. Yeah, he is an actor. If you remember something about vampire people who live like uh, at night. Yeah. Okay. And this man, I don't know. This man, I don't know. Okay, but how old are they? This man. Yeah, maybe, yeah, around maybe 27, something like this. So is he old, middle-aged or young? Good, he's young. This man, how old is he? Mm, yeah, maybe 55, something like this. Okay, so he is? Bravo, middle-aged. This man, around maybe 80 years old, something like this, 75, 80, and he is old. Very good. Okay, look at this guy here. Is he attractive? Yes, he is very attractive, especially for women, of course, for girls, yeah. And what about his hair? Mm, what's the color here? Let's see. Ah, so this is, we call it fair hair. Fair hair. Okay? Yes. Fair hair. Mm. Mm. Okay, here. The... Yeah, I guess she is tall and she is slim. Yeah, slim. Her body is nice. A man or a woman, a body nice, we say slim. What about here? <clears throat> uh, this is, we say skinny. Skinny and this is not normal. Um, I guess she is sick. Okay, so skinny. After that, thin. After that, slim. Nice. Okay. Uh, I think everyone knows this man, uh, especially people like maybe new people, new generation, they don't know. But anyone like is 25 or 30, more than that, they know Jack Shan. Yes. Where is he from? Yes, he's from China. And what's his job? Is an actor, yes, and he is a kung fu player, yeah. And this woman, I guess her name is Ashoria, if I pronounce it correct. Where is she from? India, yes. And how old is Jack Shan in this photo here? Maybe, yes, around like 50, maybe. And this beautiful lady. Um, maybe in the 30, I guess. Yeah. Now, <clears throat> where are they from? China, India. So they are Asian. Very good. Asian. And is he good looking? I guess, yes. For Chinese people, he is good looking. And he has a nice smile. Yeah. And this woman, oh, she is beautiful. Yeah, right? She is beautiful. Is she attractive? Yes, she is attractive. Of course, this is something people like, something I see beautiful, other people say not beautiful. So this is something different between people, no problem. Okay. And she is old, young, middle-aged. Yeah, she is young. Yeah, I guess she is young. And... Uh, Usually, we can know if she is young or no. Where? Here. A woman, you can know here. <clears throat> woman, yeah, she is young, like maybe 30, 35. Yeah. Uh, uh, but men, no problem. We don't care. Yes. And he is maybe 55, we said, like, so he is middle aged and she is young. Yeah. Anything else? Yeah. We have. 
very overweight <laughs> yes overweight and oh this is who is that yes tom cruise yes is he good looking yes he is good looking yeah and fair hair again and he is young i guess he is now maybe like 60 years old i guess and he looks very young these people never get old mashallah and he is slim yes he is slim he's got very nice body yeah that's it yes okay let's go back to the book uh-huh <clears throat> Okay, so <clears throat> now before we continue, we have here four people. Okay, try to stop the video and write descriptions for two people. Choose like from A, B, C, D, and write description. Like uh, she's like uh, she's tall. She's got uh, blue eyes. You cannot see eyes here, but I will make it bigger for everyone. Okay, these two people, or these two people, okay? So stop the video and write description just to practice, guys. Very important, okay? Now, if you finished, okay, what we will do, <clears throat> uh, we will listen. Now, these people here, okay, these people, we have Leo and Tina. Okay, so they have the photo, the photos of the people, and they want, they have a chocolate company, and they want to make an advert. <clears throat> okay, so for example, when you walk on the street, you find like big photo of chocolate, and someone is eating chocolate. So, which one do you think, which one is good? for a chocolate, for a chocolate ad, chocolate photo. Man, women, old, young, okay? Which one? Slim, overweight? Um, think about it. And why? Yes? Okay, so now we will listen to these two leo and tina they talk about these photos okay so you will listen after that you put the first photo second third and fourth for example maybe d is number one maybe b is number two okay so let's listen track 14. Okay, let's listen. Track 14. Okay, Leo. I've got four people for the break poster. See what you think. Right. Where's the first one? Mm, he's not bad. Yes, I quite like him. He looks friendly, the type of person who buys a lot of chocolate. I can see that. <laughs> yes. He's a bit overweight, isn't he? Is that a problem? Uh, I'm not sure. Who else have you got? Well, there's him. He's better, maybe. He's tall and good-looking. Yes, he's very good-looking. But I don't know about the long hair. Yes, you've got a point there. Who's next? What about her? Yes, she's nice. Slim, long dark hair, and she's very attractive. Yes, she's beautiful. But do we want a beautiful person on this poster? I'm not sure. Is that all of them? No, there's one more. Hmm. She's older than the other models, isn't she? Yes, but maybe that's good. Older people buy a lot of chocolate. And she's attractive. She looks very friendly and happy, I think. Yes, she does. And eating chocolate makes people feel happy. <laughs> yes, you're right. Well, let's choose. OK. Do we want a man or a woman? 
Okay, guys. So if you need to listen again, please repeat the video. I'm going to show you the answer now. So they talked about Pete, C, Jake, B, Zoe, D, after that, Lily, A. Okay. <clears throat> Okay, now we will listen to the end of the conversation. That, this is, that was the, the beginning of the conversation. Now we will um, listen to the end of the conversation, okay? And we will know who did they choose for the uh, chocolate poster, okay? Listen. Track 15. Okay, do we want a man or a woman? I think that we want a woman. Why is that? Well, women buy more chocolate than men, so they want to see a woman on the poster. Yes, good point. And people know that chocolate can make you overweight, but everyone wants to be thin. So we want someone slim. And people always think they're young, so they want to see young people on posters, which means... Zoe. OK, let's have Zoe. Fine. Shall I ask her to come for a meeting? Yes, good idea. Right, what else do we need to talk about? Mm, so, <clears throat> who did they choose? Yes, Zoe. Very good. Why? Mm. So, Zoe, because women buy more chocolate than men. True. She's slim, which is what people want to be. She's young, and people always think they are young themselves. Very good. So, now, we move now to the character. We said appearance, okay? Now, when you see here, when you see a photo, you can see, for example, this woman uh, is tall, white. She's got blonde hair. But what about inside? Is she a nice person or no? We don't know. Is she an intelligent person or no? We don't know. Is she helpful? Uh, so nice, helpful, intelligent. These are like characters, okay? So we will know here, exercise number five, we'll talk about character. Okay, so take the sentences that are true for you. Which sentence is about you? Okay, we take. I, I will talk about myself. Okay, so I work very hard. Yes, for me, I work very hard. I don't like working. No, not me. I like doing things to help other people all the time. I make people laugh a lot. Yes, and I usually think about myself, not other people. Yes, and no, sometimes, yes, sometimes no. Uh, but mostly, okay, yes, no, yeah. I'm friendly and I like meeting new people, always. I love meeting new people. Yeah. When I promise to do something, I always do it. Yes. It's difficult for me to talk to new people. No, I always talk to new people. I love that. I like giving people money and presents. Sometimes. <laughs> yes, sometimes. In the past, a lot. But now, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, life is difficult. Yeah. But I like. Yeah. Okay. So what about you? Yeah, stop the video for a minute and think about yourself. Now, for example, I want to say I work very hard. Can I use one word 
to tell you that I work very hard? Yes, I can. What I should use? Okay, I should use the word, this one, hard working. So hard working. So I don't say I work very hard. I say, no, I am a hard working person. Okay, one word. Um, so I don't like working. Yes, I am. Which one? Sorry. Which one here? Yes, 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 lazy. So number two is lazy. <clears throat> yeah. So now please stop the video. Think about them. Match. You know the words? Match them. You don't know? Guys, don't use a dictionary. It's easy to use a dictionary and we know, and that's it. We continue the lesson. No, I want you to think, okay? Keep your brain active. Promise? Yeah, let's do it. Stop the video, read it, match it. After that, check with me. Okay, guys? Mm. I will give you the answer now. So number two, let's see. I don't like working lazy. I like doing things to help other people. Kind. I make people laugh a lot. Funny. I am funny. I usually think about myself, not other people. Selfish. I'm friendly and I like meeting new people. Outgoing. When I promise to do something, I always do it. Reliable. It's difficult for me to talk to new people. Shy. I like giving people money and presents. Generous. So again, guys, repeat after me. Lazy. Kind. Funny. Selfish. Outgoing. Reliable. Shy. Generous. Well done, guys. Okay. <clears throat> so what I want you to do, okay, write the words from here that describe you. Okay. I know lots of people will not write lazy and selfish. Uh, no problem. Okay. If I am lazy, I am lazy, but I get like lots of money. I study and I always pass my exams, but I'm lazy. I don't like working a lot. That's completely normal, no problem. So write about yourself, okay? Let's know each other. Write the adjectives that describe you, okay? Now, <clears throat> uh, here we will listen to Leo and Tina. You remember Leo and Tina, these two uh, people, okay? Now, three uh, weeks later, <clears throat> Leo has a new girlfriend. So, who is the new girlfriend? Okay, so you will listen. And number one, we will know who is the new girlfriend. Okay, and number two, let me just put it here. Who is the new girlfriend? And match questions one to three to A to C. So question one, <clears throat> which one is the answer? A, B, or C, two, A, B, or C, three, A, B, or C, okay? So what's she like? What does she like doing? What does she like uh, look like? Okay, guys, so listen, match, and who is the girlfriend? Let's do it. Track 16. Hi, Leo. I hear everyone really likes the break posters. Well done. Thanks a lot. And I hear you've got a new girlfriend. Uh, yes, I have. What's she like? Well, she's friendly and outgoing, 
And she's very beautiful. Oh, right. When did you meet her? Uh, about three weeks ago. And what does she like doing? Well, she likes clubbing and going to restaurants. The same as me, really. OK. What does she look like? Well, she's tall and slim and she's got long, dark hair. How did you meet her? Oh, uh, we met here. You know, in the office. Really? What does she do? Uh, she's a model. Leo, what's your new girlfriend's name? It's, uh, Zoe. You know, from the break advert. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, if you want to listen again, please repeat the, uh, the video. <clears throat> so, who is the girl? Zoe. Yeah, Zoe. <clears throat> okay, and the answer? One C to B three A. Okay, okay. So now, now we will know what's the difference between these questions. What's she like? What's she like? So the question here, what's she like? The answer, look, if we say, just a minute. So what's she like? <clears throat> okay, what's she like? We talk about two things here. The question, what's she like? We talk about <clears throat> friendly, outgoing. This is character. Friendly, outgoing character and beautiful what appearance so this question okay guys talks about what about appearance and character okay so it talks about appearance and character So when people ask you about someone, what's she like, what's he like, so you can tell two. You talk about character and appearance. Appearance and character, no problem. Okay? Now, and like here is not a verb, okay? What's she like? What does she look, uh, what does she like doing? So what does she like doing? Mm -hmm. About what? Mm, she likes clubbing and going to a restaurant. So here what? It's about activities. Okay, guys. So like doing ing here because after like. Okay. And when I say, what does she look like? look like look like appearance tall slim okay she's got long dark hair so only appearance okay happy only appearance okay guys <clears throat> so that's very important, okay? What's she like? What's he like? Maybe what, uh, what, look, what uh, are they like? Because it's there to be. Okay, what are they like? Okay, so appearance and character. 
What does she like doing? Activities. <clears throat> what does she look like? When you see what you see, not inside, okay? Mm. Now, here, uh, the next exercise, they explain everything, okay, here. Okay, so we'll go, we use to ask a general question description. The answer can include character and physical appearance. That's what uh, she like, okay? <clears throat> <clears throat> The same thing we explained. Okay. Now, you can go here, page 150, and quick look. <clears throat> you can read about it here, guys, all the answer. Okay. But the same thing we talked about. Okay. Now, sentence stress, listen and notice the stress in the world. Usually we say, what always is stress? Like, because it's an adjective, like it is a verb, look is a verb, doing is a verb, <clears throat> okay? So listen. Track 17. What's she like? <clears throat> what does she like doing? What does she look like? Okay, guys. So usually what she, no stress, she like. What she like, okay? What does, does she? What does she like doing? And very important, guys, when you say does she, does she? No, not like this. You say does she, does she, does she? Does she? No, sir. Okay. What does she? What does she? What does she? Ah, what about he? <clears throat> Who can tell me? Yeah, good. Does he? Does he? Does he? Does he? Does he? This is how we say it. Does he? Does he? Does she? Does? Does? Okay. So, yeah, you say. Does? Does she? Does she? Does she? What does she like? This is how people speak in the street. Okay. Does he? Does she? Okay. Let's move. Now, now here you have some questions. Okay, now you have the answers. Now you will write the correct question. Okay, so you have the answers. You write the correct question. For example, she is, what, let's check here. Tall, attractive, appearance, right? Yeah, you can see tall, attractive, friendly character. What's the question that we use to talk about appearance and character? What's she like? What's she like? Okay, now write the other questions. Be careful, maybe he, maybe she, maybe they. Okay, so stop the video, do the exercise, then check with me. Okay, you will listen and check first. Track 18. One. What she like? Two. What does she look like? Three. What's he like? Four. What does she like doing? Five. What does he look like? Six. What are they like? Okay, so repeat the video and listen to it again and practice. 
Okay, guys. Hmm. No, no, no. We have the, <clears throat> the last exercise. Okay, it's a free exercise. I will show you uh, a photo, guys. Right, just give me a second. Where are the photos? Okay, guys, so you can see the photos here. <clears throat> we have three people. Of course, you know these people. Yeah, who is she? Angelina Julie, Jitli, and Oprah. Angelina Julie, where is she from? America, yes. And what's her job? An actress, Jitli, from China. An actor, Oprah, from America. And she's a uh, TV presenter, I guess. Yeah, she has uh, a TV show. So now <clears throat> I'd like you to choose one of these three people and write the description down in the comments. Okay, guys, write appearance. Maybe you can say, I think, like she's kind, helpful, generous. I, I think. But when you see, you cannot say, uh, I think Gina Julie is slim. She is slim. You can see that. Okay. So here, let me just, because people will say we don't see the eyes, for example. I don't know if you can see the eyes, for example, here and here. Okay. So write all the description, guys, about these three. Uh, choose one person. If you would like to write about a man and a woman, that would be perfect. Yeah, my good students will, will, will do that. We'll write about three, but two is perfect, okay? So you can write about she and he. Okay, guys, so I'm waiting for your uh, sentences so we can check together. And if you <clears throat> found anyone like uh, wrote a sentence, check for your friend and you can add more, okay, guys? So I guess that's the end of the uh, lesson. We talked about appearance here, about character, how we ask about appearance and character. And that was a very nice, fun lesson. Okay. I really enjoyed being with you today. Uh, actually, when I don't record video, I really miss you guys. But sometimes like I have things to do. But guys, yes. Inshallah, I will be uh, recording um, like uh, videos every day. We still have unit uh, 10, 11, and 12. After that, we'll go to pre-intermediate, okay? The next book. I hope that you continue with me. I want everyone to learn English, everyone to be perfect in English, okay? And guys, if you feel that you cannot speak the English, Please tell me down, write in the comments. If you ask me, tell me that we need speaking. If you are free, we can like uh, maybe make a time together. Okay, so and if you are free, we will have like speaking uh, one hour like of speaking on Zoom. Everyone can join and we can speak together or all, all together. That will be a good practice for you. But I want to see you asking in the comments. Okay, if we have a like, good number. We will do the speaking. Okay, guys. Thank you. Thank you for being with me today. Thank you for being very good students. I'm very like excited to see you next time. Okay, that's it. Thank you. Have a lovely day and goodbye.